left clicking to accept an aligned dimension. Well, what that means is, of course, you can dimension vertically, you can dimension horizontally, but then you get to this angled guy right here. Now, if I click on that and I pull up, there's a horizontal dimension. If I pull over to the side, there's a, a vertical dimension. Of course, you can also right click and choose aligned, and that gives you this. We can also do this without the right click, which is a little bit slow, let's be honest. So if I click the dimension, click that object. Now, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so we can see this really good. When I zoom in, you'll notice there's a small angled dimension glyph right there at my cursor. Kind of hard to see, but it's there. If I get up too high, it immediately goes to a horizontal dimension, or if I go too far over, automatically goes to a vertical dimension. But if I stay close to where I see that angled dimension glyph, if I left click, it automatically goes to an aligned dimension. You just have to see that angled glyph in order for this to work. Otherwise, if you get too far out, you've got to right click to get to the aligned option. If you stay close enough in, and you just left click, it defaults to an aligned dimension. 